What's going on EJ fam? Today I have a very special video. This is this is you know a moment and a milestone in my life that I've been waiting for for a while. But sorry that I haven't been uploading in the past couple days. This rain has just been ridiculous. It's already starting to get black and I hear thunder rolling in. So I figured I'd come out here and make this video real quick. It's starting to get windy now. So I haven't been able to make this video, but I wanted to get it up before I posted anything else because I want to keep you guys up to date with what's going on. And if you guys don't know already, add me on Snapchat because you would have heard about this news like four days ago. So without no further ado though, here we go. We got a new whip. I know the title, I had to clickbait you guys a little bit because it was worth it. But we have a new whip sitting in the driveway right here. 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. This is the LT with the all-star package, trailer package, all that good stuff, four-wheel drive. Not only do I have a new vehicle, ooh, you hear that, but this is opportunity for me to bring the car out to more shows, be able to do more stuff. Now I just gotta go pick me up a trailer, but I know you guys were all scared on Snapchat and everything that I got rid of the car and you know, all that stuff, but nope, she's sitting right here. Uh, I was going to detail her today, but I don't think I'm going to because, I mean, look at this. Look at that. That's disgusting. So, last drive was last Friday. I picked the truck up Saturday and got it for a steal so I couldn't pass up the offer. Going to be parking the car in the garage for storage up until I get my enclosed trailer. Oh, please don't tell me it's raining. And before it starts raining, I'm going to give you guys a little tour of the truck. It's a nice little project for us to work on now and tow the big project around to the shows now and I'll be able to set up a booth, sell some merch. So hopefully by Slamfest I want to have a box of t-shirts to sell you guys and it'd be awesome. So without no further ado, let's get inside the truck. I've been driving around all week so it's kind of dirty already but I detailed it real nice because when I got it from they didn't do a very good detailed job, whatever. It's got the cloth black interior, not the uh, LTZ leather. But it's got the cloth black, it's got the flip up console here that turns into the bench seat. But I'm gonna leave it like that. I got so much stuff in there already from my car that I'm gonna leave and I don't want it flinging around. Got the air wick, automatic air freshener. It's meant for a house, but it smells amazing in here. So I have to buy the trailer brake controller because I didn't buy the tow package, but I bought the trailer package. The difference is the trailer package comes with the higher geared rear axle. But the tow package actually comes with the trailer brake controller and the trailer brake module, which I'm glad I didn't buy because the package was like an extra two to three grand on the trucks that I was looking at. So I found the controller, which is just this plate here you gotta change out. And you know, us audio guys, we're good at doing that kind of stuff. So that's pretty easy for me to do swap out this and then it comes with a little module that you have to wire up somewhere luckily the truck is already pre-wired so you just plug everything in and you got brakes but it's only 75 bucks on ebay brand new so i kind of lucked out looking that up and finding that out so one thing the truck didn't come with floor mats whatever i got it for such a good steal i can't complain so i ordered some weather tech floor mats they should be here tomorrow or the next day so I just have a piece of carpet over there for one of the passengers in here. Some of my carpet that I use for my build. But there's so much space in this thing. This is the 5.3 the uh, six speed tranny with the uh, 3.42 rear axle ratio. It comes with the LTZ wheels upgraded. It only has 6,000 miles on it. So she is brand new and I couldn't, I couldn't miss the opportunity. I already got some custom stuff on the way. So we got a lot of work to do this weekend. I already ordered a three inch leveling kit and uh want to look in some wheels and tires soon but I might hold that off for a little bit because I need to get rid of this fish bolt-in up front and I think it's got like 35 in the rear from factory so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna tint the uh get everything tinted probably do five percent all around just go over the back so it looks even darker back there five percent up here and probably 35 or 50 on the windshield if you guys have tinted windshields comment down below and let me know your experience especially for nighttime driving this truck oh excuse me this truck does have led headlights so seeing in the dark isn't going to be a problem so that's already one nice thing but next thing on the list 
this truck has no bed liner, which I didn't know that when I was going to buy it, but it wasn't too much of a concern because luckily enough, my buddy Johnny who sprayed my door panels, that bed liner, I'm also gonna probably have him spray this too. Nice fresh bed liner, it'll look real nice. Rather have the spray in anyways than the, uh, than the other stuff that they use, I don't know. One thing I do like, which I forgot completely about when I bought the thing was, it doesn't slam. So I haven't really been back here and messed around yet, but definitely need some bed liner because that is bright and ugly. But otherwise, this is a beautiful truck. I love it. So far driving it, it's been amazing. I've been getting on the interstate doing about 80. I get about 22, between 20 and 22 miles per gallon, depending on if I have the AC on, um, you know, if I'm going uphill, downhill, you know, whatever the case may be. But riding around the city, I've been getting about 23 to 24. So once I put the leveling kit on, you know, that's gonna go down a little bit. But then once I get a tonneau cover for the bed, that's just gonna go back up. So, you know, pretty good for what it is though. I absolutely love the truck. I just wanted to show you guys this. Sorry for the clickbait title. I know a lot of people were freaking out that I got rid of the car or was partying out the build because I had a pile, it's already gone, they must have took it today. I had a pile of all, pretty much all of my equipment in my build, all of the boxes that they came in, I took from the garage and threw it all over there because I need room to put this thing in there. So I had to throw it all out and I took a picture and posted it on a snap and everyone was like concerned. And then when I posted a picture, when I posted a video saying this is my last drive, people were also concerned. So, but yeah, so this is the reason for all that. And you know, I can't be any more thankful for you guys because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have done this. I'm doing this specifically for you guys so I could tow the car around, bring stuff out to the shows and you know, have a good time with everybody. Now I could beat the absolute shit out of this thing at shows I can just beat the hell out of it and not have to worry about anything breaking because if it breaks load it up on the trailer take it home and fix it before I had to drive the thing home so I was playing at us uh, at Indianapolis if you guys got a demo at Slamology I was going so easy on this thing I was already clipping I had a crappy tune on the amps because I did it in like 10 minutes so I didn't really want to beat it up and have to drive it all the way back home and have something bad happen that's going to cause me to not make it home. So now that is not an issue. Once I find a trailer, I'm probably just going to get an open trailer temporarily and until I find an enclosed trailer. But oh, here comes the rain. Perfect timing. All right, guys. This is awesome. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you guys aren't already, be sure to subscribe because we got a lot of stuff coming up. Got another video to do on the Integra, an update. We've done some stuff to it. So the Integra's turning out pretty nice too, but this rain is gonna kill me now because now I gotta do my car and a bunch of other stuff. So hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe button. Be sure to give this a like. Add me on Snapchat so you don't miss out on important stuff like that because that was a good day. I'll catch you guys later. Stay dry if you're in Florida. Mind me while I sit and pretend to make amends with all these false clubs that made us a man. We'll fucking swallow you. I follow you down low to this bro. Can't hard enough for you. My heart is gone to sleep.